Hi, I'm Ted with Omnimetrics, and today we're going to be installing a G8500 monitor on a Generac E-Panel control panel. To do this, we'll need the G8500 monitor, the 25-pin cable connector, a cellular antenna, and a common screwdriver. First thing we're going to do is turn the unit to the off position, and then we're going to go through the steps of assigning the programmable relays. So now that we've taken the machine out of auto and we've made it safe for us to work on it, the process for programming the controller there is the following. First, you have to use the left arrow key until you come to the entry that says parameter enter or parameter entry, and then we press enter. Then we put in the password. This password is known to Generac personnel, and if you don't know the details, then call Omnimetrics and we can assist. Once we've gotten past the password, it brings us to the place where we'll see Digital I.O. menu. At that point, we'll use the up-down arrow keys until we see displayed an indication of Output 1 Function. Basically, we're going to assign a function to the first assignable relay, relay number one. We're going to push the up-down arrow keys until we come to common alarm in that list, and then we'll press enter. That assigns common alarm to relay number one. Then we go through the same process, choose output number two, and we're going to choose not in auto, for that option. Okay, and that also is called in manual, so um, that's the equivalent to not in auto. And then for relay number three, our preference is to use low fuel, and if for any reason low fuel is not an option, as in if the fuel sender is not installed, then we'll use low oil pressure as our third alarm. We'll begin the physical installation. The side that we've removed has a slot in it that makes it very easy for the Omnimetric cable to be installed. So here Ted's showing us that side panel. And now we're going to begin our connection of the wires into the controller. So we'll start with making the connection of our Omnimetrics black wire. And it's going to connect to this front terminal strip here. This is TB1 in Generac terminology. And it connects to wires, wire number zero. Okay, now we're going to apply the Omnimetrics red wire. It's going to be connected to wire number 13 or 218. And the orange wire attaches to terminal board one, the same one that we're still working on now, and it goes to wire number 14 or 219 depending on if it's a 12 or 24 volt system. Uh, the next wire, which is going to be our gray wire, this is going to go to the high temperature alarm, wire number 85. The first wire we're going to add is our blue wire. Which and that's going to go to relay number one, normally open contact. Next one we're going to do is our pink wire. This is for not in auto. That goes to programmable relay number two, normally open contact. The last one goes to the normally open contact for terminal relay number three, is that violet? Relay yes, that's for low, low fuel. fuel violet. Yeah. Violet. Or purple wire. All right. Now the last thing we're going to do is to connect the commons of all three relays. So relay one common, relay two common, relay three common are all going to be connected together. And then they are going to be attached to DC ground. Last things we're going to do will be to hook up the two-wire remote start. We'll start with our white-yellow wire. That's white with a yellow trace. And it goes to uh, terminal board number one and wire number 56. is our white-brown wire, white with a brown trace. 
it's going to go to DC ground which is Generac wire number zero. Okay, so we finished bundling up our excess wires, put a little bit of electrical tape over the ends just to hold them together to help make things easy. So now we're going to button up the controller. Okay, with all the screws started we just use the power screwdriver and tighten those guys back up. Okay, that's it for all of our wiring. Now the last two steps are our antenna and installing the monitor module on top of the controller. We're going to go in through the end of the machine and notice what Ted's doing here. He's just pulling the weather door weather stripping grommet down and inserting the antenna cable into the crack between the sheet metal pieces. Okay, we've dropped our antenna cable inside. So now we're going to add the monitor module. And this we're going to put on the right hand side of the controller relatively near the front. Ted's going to install. I'm going to walk around here. Alright, so Ted has installed the antenna. Let's see if I can get in close enough to see it. Yep, right there. Now the 25 pin connector. Okay, so the Omnimetrics unit is now turned on. Our final steps will be to simply clean up our wiring. Okay, we've buttoned everything up. We've tied up our excess cable. And now we can see how to tell when the monitor is online. Notice the activity LED is blinking. About every three seconds. Power LED is on, the network LED is on, and we're looking good. Successful installation.